Today, we're going to somehow add this jet ski to the back of the Ultimate Vacation Yacht. Let's get started. So we're in the builder's menu right now, and there's actually a couple issues that we need to figure out. We need to find out what this thing will actually be sitting on. So like what, you know, kind of lowers it. We need a ramp of some sort so it can actually get back up. And I think for that to even work, we need to extend these things right here. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. So something like this looks much better. We extended those. Now we need the robotic pivot. This thing actually stands on. So we'll just add two of those right here. And then at the end, we'll put like a block here and maybe a winch to help bring it up when it is actually up the ramp. So we'll just put the winch right in between these right here and something like that okay and then we need to merge it in that's definitely important and there we go another very important step is the um actual track for it so we need to search up track right here and it'll bring us to these sliding track connector things i don't even really know what these do but we're gonna figure it out so we're just going to extend this to around like right here and then it will lower so let's grab ourselves a throttle and the throttle will basically just drop this in. we're gonna see if the jet ski can sit on top of it all right so here it is right here it can go up and down so look at that oh gosh okay not like that okay Okay, so we can lower it like this and that is definitely not far enough to go in the water so i don't think we could drive the jet ski up that unless we were going like 80 miles an hour so how could we get that to actually go lower in the water we could delete some of the blocks right here that it's kind of going through it's like glitching through so we'll delete like two blocks right there one right there right, so the main issue is right here so we'll delete two blocks right here and you know what two blocks here we're gonna have to replace this light so we're just gonna cut this out and put it probably right next to where it was just at so right there and now let's lower it and see how much better it is so all right there it goes so it's actually in in the water this time which is great and i don't think i want it to be at any more of an angle so we might just have to actually extend the track piece behind the boat pretty far that's the issue i thought was going to happen so we'll do something like this for now that's probably really long and then of course we cannot forget about the jet ski so we're going to go ahead and copy this all right we have the jet ski we're just going to bring it back here directly above the ramp and how do we even connect this oh this is the hard part all right so for now we're going to paste it right here so we'll do that we need to find a block under here that a what is it called a hard point connector no it's not that a sliding connector grip so this is what we need and we need to actually put this somewhere and so just looking underneath the jet ski right now this will actually stick out a block so it's probably going to mess with some of the water dynamics but right there is actually a really good spot so we'll do something like that perfect so now it can slide up and down and i think we only need one of those can we do two um no we can't i would but there's like kind of the propeller right there is in the way and some other stuff all right let's spawn this in and actually see if it connects so we got it spawned in and there we go and oh uh well there it goes i mean it does slide off that's good okay that's cool and all but let's see if we can lower this and if we we can drive the jet ski up the ramp so we got it in the water here um is that far enough oh gosh look at the connector this track right here needs to be below that i don't think that's gonna work we need to make that i think a lot farther and for that we're probably just gonna delete some more blocks right here and extend it maybe two blocks i really don't want this to be too far out it's actually getting really far i don't like it but it'll just have to work for a jet ski all right it is on it slides off okay it all goes to plan then we're gonna lower it down and yep so it's at a little bit of a severe angle right here but it's actually let's see level okay now it's like kind of the perfect level all right so engine is on on the jet ski we're gonna go in reverse right here so we're in reverse perfect this is a pretty cool working jet ski by the way i think like ze made it it's really cool but all right let's see if we can drive up the ramp so we got it centered pretty well and there we go nope we went to a complete stop so oh we need to make it down like maybe another block i think a block will work a block should definitely do it okay we're gonna go ahead and lower it like that all right so if we look under and we start driving um oh it's kind of like each wave oh gosh guys yeah i don't think that would work i know if we extended it exactly one block more it would perfectly work oh wait there we go our bow kind of like oh no we still hit wait hold on we got it but it's not like connected it'll connect here in a second maybe oh gosh moment of truth will one more do the trick okay we're gonna drive up the ramp right here make sure it's centered perfect it's looking great and oh we're going up that's good okay um are we connected i don't think so yet um it should connect okay, so we're having an issue where we're getting stuck on the actual like boat itself we need to fix that so right about here was the issue oh gosh we have to get rid of the light again so for this to actually work we have to kind of make it slide up so right there we'll just do that and now it should work maybe hopefully all right we got it nice and not centered at all but we're gonna try driving up and oh it just doesn't connect um is there like a release button somewhere that's on there we go now we are connected okay so it does work i just didn't have it lined up correctly and i did turn on the headlights that definitely did help but um at this point what do we do here so i don't really know we have to like somehow get it connected to the actual boat so it's not just like dangling off and that is why i added this anchor right here so so we're going to go ahead and add a cable connection here. So this will actually recharge the electricity on the jet ski itself. Also, we should probably change the color of it. Too. It definitely doesn't like match the boat. And we'll do that here in a bit. So on the jet ski, we're going to put this color. We'll just do like gray and then go to our rope node here and just connect it to our anchor. And there we go. So now the actual boat or I mean, jet ski is connected. Now we need an up and down for the anchor. So let's do this. So up and down. So we'll connect up right here to up and then down to down. But as you can see, it is now connected. Um, We need to add a 
break for that because I know that thing does have a break. Yeah, I can even see the node right there, but we can bring the winch in right here. So this is me bringing the winch in, putting less slack in it. And there we go. We got it completely up now. And even if I like kind of wobble it here, it really shouldn't move that far. Oh, duh, don't listen to me, I guess. What in the world? Okay, yeah, we definitely need a separate safety measure. That rope is a little bit um flexible. So on the jet ski itself, we're going to grab number four here. Number four will be the brake thing on here. Actually, I don't know if we could do that because that means it wouldn't be on when it spawns in. So I think we need to make an actual separate button for that. I mean, this rope right here doesn't seem like it's doing much, or I at least hope it isn't. So we're going to grab ourselves a key button here, and this is going to be a fairly large button, and we'll put it right there, obviously, and then we'll connect that straight to our brake right there, and then when it spawns in, it will normally be on when it's on default, and it needs electric, of course, so we'll connect it to the actual jet ski battery. Um, What did I just connect it to? All right, so now it shouldn't move at all when it spawns in. There we go. Completely locked in place, no matter what I do, actually. So that brake is a pretty strong brake. Um, uh, wait, is it working? Okay, it's a brake. Never mind. It doesn't work as good as I thought it would, but you know, it works. Okay, so now let's say you want to go for a draw ride. You disconnect that, and then you'd go here and disable that. And there we go. Now we are in the water, and it goes pretty deep. So you're going to want to turn on your engine and turn on reverse because a jet ski actually can't like go underwater without engine power. So we got reverse on, and it's trying to drag us down. It's going very slow. Hold on. Maybe we have to throttle up. So we can throttle up, and then it should shoot us back down since I got it in reverse. Um, okay, this is kind of starting to be an issue. Maybe I need a release connector button. Okay, so on the jet ski itself, there is a couple buttons. So we'll just do number um, number two here. We'll do the release connector button. Okay, I just feel like that would do it. Never mind, we're doing number four because I realize there's like composites in this thing taking up all the seat stuff. Okay, so number four should work. And now if we spawn it in and lower the ramp and click number, wait, no, we have to disconnect the rope first. Go on the jet ski, turn off the brake and then do number four to disconnect the light boat. Oh, we slid off this time, probably because I clicked number four. That's probably why. Let's turn on the engine and turn on reverse and try driving up the ramp. That's not reverse. Full throttle. It'll switch into drive if I just hold W down. Okay, line it up. Line it up. Here we go. Um, Will I be able to line it up? There we go. Okay, I think I got it lined up and now it should connect. Perfect. And then something like that. And then right here to load it up, you click number two, which will set the throttle to sticky. So it'll be on full throttle like this. So it'll just be kind of like driving without me on it. While it's doing this, you're going to want to connect the rope to the this and that and then bring it in so now it should be bringing the jet ski up slowly we're gonna turn off this um engine here and there we go now we got this thing loaded and once it's at our um preferred height we turn on the brake we definitely need to make this winch a little bit faster it's kind of going slow if i'm gonna be honest um i don't know why so there we go i made the rope faster let's bring it up and there we go wait i realized the rope's actually not strong enough okay that's the issue or it's just too flexy that might be it also but um once it's at your height you're gonna want to go ahead and click this key button here and it'll lock it in place so now this thing should go nowhere and it's completely out of the water. So no like rust or anything. I think that's how it works. All right. So for this jet ski, we're going to add some neotastic colors on it. So we'll just do blue for this and maybe make the seat completely white. Okay. That doesn't look bad. Maybe the seat actually goes this blue color. There we go. So that's what it looks like with the seat blue. I don't think that actually looks too bad. And then for the outskirts right here, I can kind of just look at it. It's a little bit of a tinted gray. We're going to make it completely white. So it kind of like stands out more. It just looks better. And actually, instead of making it white, we're going to make it the neotastic color all around. Just, you know, some branding going on here. So perfectly like that. It looks amazing. All right, so this doesn't look bad at all besides the fact all these buttons are here. I kind of want to have a control station for this and maybe even an area where I can actually get up on the jet ski. So right now we're going to figure out what the perfect height is for the ramp. Oh, it's actually kind of lower in the back here. We need to add more robotic pivots. Okay, I guess. Okay, so right here, we could probably have it completely flattened out so we can um, get on the jet ski and we need to make the control platform probably right next to it. So as said, we're just going to go ahead and delete these blocks here and fill it up. So now we have a ramp built in or just like a flat area, you know, and then this will extend all the way to the end. And then when it's at the end, it'll kind of aggressively curve down to even it out, you know, because you don't want to just completely be out and open like that. And we're also going to get rid of this couch here that I still have here for some reason. So we're just going to delete that right there. Now I can see stuff. Okay, So for this, we need to make a ramp to go up. So like, you know, a little bit of stairs right there. And I think that's like really all we have to do. Actually, we'll use normal stairs for this. So can that work? I hope so. There we go. So something like that'll work but we're gonna of course even it out here kind of curious what's gonna happen at this end part so right here is where we have the issue okay well this would 100 work but it doesn't like look that good um now that we got that done we need to make the control station so right here we're gonna make kind of like a little panel like we had for the um anchor what the hot tub yeah hot tub and then on this panel we're gonna put this throttle over there so let's grab this throttle the k three times and just completely slam it against here and same with the up and downs for the actual anchor which don't even work that well i mean it works it's just not that strong
strong, you know, like I'm I'm pretty sure they're stronger anchors, but that's like a one block anchor. So, you know, and actually for these anchors, we need to make it vertical. So vertical like that. And then I want up to, you know, be on the top. So let's see is up on the top. Uh, no, up is now on the top. That was very simple. We'll just color all of our panel here to make it all look like the same color. Oh, no, I painted the boat. Do not paint the boat. And we're not trying to do that yet. We already did that in like the beginning videos. We're not doing that again. So now we need to find the certain number that this um, boat ramp thing needs to be at. So as you can see right here, it's at zero. So if we bring it to um, negative 0 0.1826. Okay, 26 is probably perfect. Gee, this 24 thing will work. So we're going to go on here and do the start value for this. And then there's a whole bunch of like numbers here. So we'll do 800. There we go. So now when it spawns in, it should be perfectly at an angle. Look at that. Amazing. I don't even have to do it. And of course, we need a light to do this out here at the nighttime. So we're going to put a light um, connected kind of to the hot tub right there. We'll just grab a light. And then we need to put some lights on the actual jet ski itself. So now that we added the lights here with the button on the jet ski itself, we're going to do some cool like detailing going on. OK, so there's some stuff we have to watch out for. So like right there, you know what? We need to figure this out first where this thing actually sits on the water at. How low does it stand? So we're just going to disconnect everything here, completely launch this. So two it shouldn't. To, oh, yeah, I definitely did that wrong. OK, so now we'll click two to disconnect it or four. Um, wait, what button is it? OK, the jet ski is a little bit stuck, but that's fine because we'll like do some. Oh, gosh. Um, yep, that's fine. There we go. Perfect. Oh, my gosh, I can do a flip. Didn't know that. OK, so now the jet ski is currently driving away. That's fine. Um, We need to lower down the ramp. OK, so it sits pretty low. So like this top blue part is still kind of out of the water. But then if we full throttle here, it kind of sticks out a little bit more. So definitely this blue part will have like some type of LEDs. And look at this. Look at the trail behind it. It's so realistic. All right. So there are two handlebars on the sides right here. I don't even think we need these because this thing's just sitting so low. Um, We'll delete all of that right there. That kind of shows a lot of our engine components, but that's fine. So something like this will work. Of course, we're going to change the color. So we got it perfectly six and then we're going to do that and then go to replace color on our paint thing and make sure all this brown stuff is that color. So now that it's all blue, we're going to actually have it glow the blue color. So we'll do two stripes of this all the way across. Okay, So it looks kind of cool in the straight line. Let's see what it looks like if we actually kind of have it curved down on both sides. Let's see if this looks any better. So something like that. Um, OK, yeah, I think that just adds more design. We'll do that. Then we can't forget about the other side. The other side um, is uh, has a little bit of a hole in it. Actually, if we left that with a hole, I think it'd sink instantly. There we go. We got that done. We need to connect electric to it now. Hopefully we don't have electricity problems on a jet ski. I don't think we will. This thing has like a generator built into it, which is kind of interesting because it's a jet ski. But all right. So there is a headlights button somewhere on here. What we're trying to locate. So number three is the headlights. So number three will turn on all of our actual like LEDs on this thing. Where's three at? Okay, number three is right here. We'll connect three to let's see all these. All right, let's spawn it in and see how it's going. So why does it look like it's kind of um not even? Okay, definitely is. Oh, wait, um, what's going on? Hold on. The boat's like kind of tilting. What is happening? I feel like the jet ski is way too close to like the left side here. We need to clear that out one block. So what I'm talking about, hold on, let's turn on our grid lines. It looks so weird without those. Uh, this part right here. So there's like a kind of a spacing. We're going to make the spacing. So there we go. All right, so we're going to launch the jet ski, taking on a bit of a joyride. So we're going to release the brake, um, do number three and four at the same time. Oh yeah, I have to hold four down. I forgot about that. And then hold reverse. We're going and drive. No, do reverse, please. And then keep disconnecting it. And there we go. We are off and let's turn on our headlights now. Oh, look at this. This is going to look so cool at night. Let's of course do that. So we'll do like a sunset type thing right here. Oh, great. And look at this. We are now up and running. Let's not run into the yacht here. Okay, great. This is actually really cool looking. This thing's actually pretty speedy too. How fast are we going? Um, whatever that is. KMH 85 of that. And it's not even loud. Like, is this electric or what? Um, we have full electric. Yeah. So this thing has a really good generator on it. We are just cruising out in front of the sunset. This is just what a sight. Guys, I cannot believe we actually added this to the yacht. What a great um, improvement, I'd say. Oh yeah, then we can't forget about this light. But we got this thing looking very nice with our brand new jet ski ramp. And then disconnect the rope. Okay, and this is kind of a tutorial on how to use this too, if you guys are interested. So we'll disconnect this, do number four, and then turn on the engine at the same time. And just like that, we are off. And then S is actually your reverse if you hold S down. And then W is how you go forward. We definitely need to fix the back of the boat. It doesn't really look that cool from the back. There's like a ton of uneven stuff on the DJ set right there, but that's fine. Look at that. And then we can kind of just drive our jet ski just like that. And then to um, reload it here, we're just going to do a little bit of a circle, completely splash our boat with water. This thing is really fast. Okay, we're just going to line it up here. We are coming in for boarding. So that is off. Okay, that's great. Just line it up here. Let's turn on our headlights so we can see there. Perfect. It's looking kind of uneven, but that's fine because it'll just automatically connect. And then once we're up, we hit the brake and there we go. All right, we are up. But of course, we need to connect this cable here. Now that the cable's on, we're going to bring it up and also disable the brake. And that is as far as 
as it's going to get up, unfortunately. But once it kind of moments up, hit the break, and there you go. But that's probably going to be it for this Stormworks building video on this yacht. I have no idea what we're going to add next. Um, This might be the final one. Who knows? Give me a good idea, and I will probably add it. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching, and goodbye.